Hi, today we're going to work on the second half of Lesson 1-3, and we're going to start on page 24. So we're starting on number 7, and it says there are eight monkeys. Some are parents and some are babies. How many of each could there be? Show two different ways. So to make this a little bit easier, I have eight little pieces here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to pretend these are our eight monkeys. Some are parents and some are babies. So what if I want to have one parent and the rest babies? That would be one parent and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven babies. So that's one way we could make a combination. One parent and seven babies. What if we want two parents? We would have two parents and one, two, three, four, five, six babies. What if we wanted three parents? We would have three and one, two, three, four, five babies. So all of these are different combinations to make eight. We could have four parents and four babies. We could have five parents and three babies. We could have six parents and two babies. We could have seven parents and one baby. So all of those that we just talked about are all possible ways that we could make eight. We have a total of eight, so we can use a variety of different ways to make eight. So if we wanted to look at some addition facts for eight, this is what we would have. You could come up with all these different possibilities to make the total of 8. If we slide over to number 8, this one's a little bit easier. It says, Krista takes two photos, then she takes five more. How many photos did Krista take in all? So, this one, it tells us exactly what we need to know. She took two photos. Then she took five more. So we add five more. How many photos did she take in all? So we want to know what the total amount is. So I draw my picture. Two, and then I draw a little line, and five more. One, two, three, four, five. And when I put them all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we would have seven photos. All right, down here, this is another one that we're going to use some of our markers to help with. It says, Andy's team scored a total of 10 goals. So I'm going to get 10 little pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I have 10 little pieces there. And it says they scored one or two goals in the first game. So if they scored one goal in the first game, then all of these others would be scored in the second game. So what would they have? They scored a total of 10. So in the first game, they scored one. How many would they have scored in the second game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They would have had to score nine goals in the second game to get their 10 goals. Okay, what if they scored two? It says they could have ugh, they could have scored two goals. So here's the two. We still are gonna end up with 10 goals. How many would they have scored the second game? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They would have had to score eight points in the second game. So those are ways that we could come up with a total of 10 if one of our numbers has to be either a 1 or a 2, that kind of lets us know we only have a few choices here. All right, let's go over to number 10. And it says, Jess sees nine birds. Some are flying and some are sitting in a tree. Match the number of birds flying with the number of birds Jess could have seen in the tree. So I'm going to start with nine birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's all of our birds. So here it says seven are flying. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven are up in the air flying. How many are in the tree? How many are left down here? One, two, because the seven plus two will give us our nine total birds. So here we're gonna draw a little line from the seven to the two, because seven plus two equals nine. What if we had eight birds flying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight birds flying. How many are left? One. So we're gonna draw a line straight over to the one. Eight flying, one in the tree. What if we have five flying? One, two, three, four, five are off flying. How many are left in the tree? One, two, three, four. So the five plus four equals nine. And what if we have six birds off flying? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are left in the tree? One, two, three. So six plus three equals nine. All right, when we look at page 25, this is um, a page for you to be doing on your own. So I wanna go over the top with you and then I'm gonna have you pause the video. But this is just a review of what we're trying to learn in this lesson. It says, you can show the same number in different ways. Ashley has four flowers. Some are red and some are white. How many of each color flower does Ashley have? So here she'd have three red and one white, three plus one. Two red and two white, two plus two. Or one red and three white, one plus three. So all of these are different ways that you could make four. So now I would like you to pause the video and I would like you to do the problems on page 25 and on page 26. When you're done, start the video and we will check over the problems together. All right, hopefully you have done the problems on page 25 and 26. This one says, draw a picture to show some frogs by the water and some in the grass. Then write an equation for each problem. So we have a total of nine frogs. So you should have drawn some frogs in the water and some frogs out of the water. And then here we have a total of nine and you would write how many you had in the water plus how many you had out of the water. And your choices could be any of these. So please check to see if you have one of these written here in your book. If you don't see one of these answers written, you may need to check your drawing and make sure you actually have nine frogs and then count up how many you have very carefully, how many are in the water and how many are out of the water. All right, let's turn to the back. Number two is the same thing, but now you have eight frogs. So you should have drawn eight frogs, some in the water, some out of the water. And here you have your total of eight. And then however many you had in the water should go on this line. And however many you had out of the water should go on this line. So here are your possible answers. So check this list and see if you've got one of these written right here. If you don't see your answer written here, you might wanna check, count all your frogs, make sure you have a total of eight and then count carefully how many are in the water and how many are out of the water. Okay, number three says, Laura picks seven apples, so our total is gonna be seven. Some apples are red and some are green. Fewer than four of the apples are red. Fewer means smaller, so we need to think of numbers that are smaller than four. So what numbers are smaller than four? One is smaller than four, Two is smaller than four, and three is smaller than four. So any of these would fit this, where it says fewer than four are red. So these, either one red, two red, or three red, would follow this. How many of Laura's apples could be green? So now we have to say, well, I have seven apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here I'm going to say one is red. How many are left to be green? How many are green? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one plus six would make seven. What if two are red? Put that up there. One, two, three, four, five are green. 
What if three are red? One, two, three, four would be green. So these are the three choices you would have because we have to have less than four would be red. So we had to make sure that we were using a number smaller than four for our red apples. And then we found out how many were left to have the green apples. All right, Mark sees six puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some have spots and some do not. Match the number of puppies with spots with the number of puppies without spots that Mark could have seen. So if we have one of these dogs that could have spots, one. How many would not have spots? One, two, three, four, five. So one plus five is six. So we're gonna draw a line between the one with spots and the five without. What if two have spots? One, two. How many would not? One, two, three, four. So two plus four equals six. How about if four of them have spots? One, two, three, four. How many do not? One, two. So four with two. How many of five, what if five have spots? How many are left without spots? The one. So now we've checked your homework page and hopefully you understand how we came up with these answers. If you have questions, please ask an adult or ask your teacher. Have a wonderful day.